Hi everyone, I hope you're all really well. So today I've created this makeup look. It's like a super glowy, simple sparkle lid look, which is really on trend at the moment. Um, most of these products are ones I haven't tried before, so it's also like a first impressions style video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you do, and I'm just gonna get straight on and show you how I got this look. So I'm gonna start out this look trying out some of the new IT Cosmetics Illumination colour correcting um, products. So the first one is the CC Plus Cream. As most of you guys know, I love these products already. Um, so I'm really excited to try these out. Got all of the normal stuff. It just looks like it's more illuminating, which is gonna be interesting to see because I already find their CC Cream quite illuminating anyway. They also sent me over another one of their Heavenly Luxe complexion perfection brush this thing is just the best brush ever it's got a really soft end here and then the other end is just a little one for the concealer I'm just gonna put one pump of this onto the brush and then I'm just gonna buff it in oh wow <laughs> it is quite illuminating the only thing I worry about with illuminating products is that they're gonna just make me look oily so hopefully this won't make me look like that <laughs> So far, it just has a really nice glow to it. And it kind of seems a little bit more sheer than the other one. Don't know why. So yeah, first impressions are good. But it'll be interesting to see what it's like after I put the concealer and the powder on. So I'm just gonna continue and use the concealer. This is the full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer um, in the shade Light. This stuff is super thick. Um, I don't tend to use this concealer as often as I use the CC cream just because it's so thick um, and I don't feel like I always need it but on days where I have the biggest under eye circles I will always reach for this. <laughs> I am loving the pink packaging as well though for this range. So with this concealer because it's so thick I like to put a bit on the back of my hand and then start to buff it in with the brush and just make it a bit warm before I put it under my eyes and then I'll just evenly put it under there. I would also like to take it on top of my eyelids just because it covers my veins really, really well. Then I'm going to try their Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder in the shade Radiant Transparent. And to apply that, I'm going to use their um, Wand Ball Powder Brush. I love this brush as well. Their brushes are just so good. I really, really recommend them. Now with that same brush, I'm going to use Too Faced Sun Bunny Little Bronzer and just bronze up my face. Then for blush, I'm going to use the NARS Multiple in the shade Portofino. I'm going to put quite a bit of this on because I like the whole like slightly sunburnt cheek look, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think it works well with this illuminated look. And then finally for the face, I'm going to use one of the Hourglass Highlighting Sticks. This one is in the shade Champagne Flash. Um, they're just in these really cool like triangular shapes um, and I just pop them on top of my cheekbones just straight from the tube and I normally put it down my nose slightly but I think this foundation is so like radiant <laughs> that I don't need it and then I just blend it out a tiny bit. I'm going to fill my brows in with Benefit Browsings in the shade Medium and to fill in my brows these days I've been using the Isla um, just a little like brow brush that's got a spoolie at one end and an angled brush at the other and it just works really well. So I'm going to start at the end of my brow today because I want this to still be like a really natural look so I find when I start at the outer corner it tends to be a little bit more natural because I can put as little as possible in the front of my brow. I'm going to set them with the Glossier Boy Brow. This is just the clear one because I couldn't decide which shade I would be um, because normally if I get like brunette then it's too dark if I get blonde it's too light so <laughs> clear was just the best option I've just zoomed you guys in a bit so you can see what I'm doing with the eyes I'm just going to do something super simple with the eyes because I'm going to try out the cover FX shimmer veils and um, I'm just I think I'm just going to use one of them all over the lid so I'm going to take the shade magic and it comes out just like that um, I'm going to see how much product it gives out first. Okay, so it takes 
it gives quite a lot of product out. Um, I'm just going to put it over the majority of my lid and then blend it out. I'm going to take it like slightly into the inner corner of my eyelid. Um, I'm not taking it underneath at all. And that is the quickest eye look I've ever done. <laughs> you could leave it without mascara and liner, I think that would look really pretty. But I'm going to just put a tiny bit of brazen, which is this dark matte brown, just along my lash line, really close to it. I'm going to give my lashes a good curl, because this is going to be like focused quite heavily on the mascara now. And then another new product that I've been trying out is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Yep. <laughs> this is quite an intense mascara, so I'm just going to be quite gentle with it for this look. So I don't want too heavy of a mascara look. Then finally for lips, I'm going to use the Buxom um, Lip Crayon in the shade Stealth. And then on top of that, I'm just going to put a bit of the Posy Balm by Benefit, just to give it a little tiny bit of a sheen. And that is the finished look. So overall the base, I think the foundation and concealer worked really well. Um, it's very radiant, like I'm worried that by the end of the day it will look um, too oily or like just too much. So this was just a first impressions, but if you guys want to know what I think of it properly after trying it out for a few days, I'm going to write a blog post on it, so make sure you're following me on that down below. Um, I post on my Instagram whenever I put a blog post up, so also you can be following me on there and then you'll be updated when everything goes out. Yeah, I'm still kind of obsessed with the Hourglass highlight stick. This thing is just amazing. Um, what about the eyes? The shimmer is quite subtle now. I don't know if like if you layer it up then it gets more intense. I might try that quickly. But I mean it's, it looks really nice and subtle when it's just like this as well. But let's see if it builds up. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely builds up. It's such a wearable shimmer as well, which is what I love about it. It's not like in your face, glitter everywhere. I have been using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara for about two weeks now, um, and I love it. It just is quite tricky to take off, um, so I don't tend to wear it all the time. But like, if you want your mascara to stay for ages, and look intense and black, then this is the mascara for you. I'd say it's quite similar to their roller lash, but just a bit more, like the brush is completely straight, so it doesn't have that curve in it. But um, yeah, I really like it. So if you like Benefit mascaras, then you'd probably love this one. Okay, so that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you've tried out any of these new products as well, what your thoughts on them are, um, and yeah. Give a video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!